Kalama Channel. At the moment, as you can see, I am at the study area of author A.W.N. Silva, who alone wrote and published six books in English, Sinhala and Tamil languages to learn English, Tamil, Sinhala, Urdu and Hindi languages. This is a copy of its fifth edition. This book helps the foreign student learn all the essential grammar rules and the vocabulary of the Sinhalese language that's in daily use. This book consists of 784 pages. The phonetic symbol system designed by the author shows clearly the correct pronunciation of every Sinhala word in this book. At the end of this book, the student will find Sinhalese English and English Sinhalese mini dictionary. This will help the foreign student to find the meaning and the correct pronunciation of any Sinhala word occurring in daily use. Similarly, he can find the exact Sinhala word equal in meaning to the English word of his choice. The author has classified and presented all the Sinhalese nouns and verbs. This will help also the foreign scholars who do research on the Sinhala language. The author has shown clearly how Sinhala nouns are declined, how their plurals are formed and how Sinhala verbs are conjugated. The author shows also how various participles of the Sinhala verbs are formed. This is the second book written and published by author A.W.L. Silva. This book is written in English language. This book is titled as Teach Yourself Tamil. This is a copy of its second edition. This book helps greatly the foreign student master the essential grammar rules and the vocabulary of the Tamil language in daily use. The author devoted a lot of time and effort in writing this book. This book consists of 633 pages. In this book, the author uses a specially designed phonetic symbol system to show the pronunciation of each Tamil word clearly. A serious problem that many students face when learning the Tamil language is that very often there is a serious gap between the written form and the spoken form of the Tamil language. To overcome this problem, the author has invented certain rules or patterns to show how the written form of the Tamil language changes into the spoken form. These rules are called spoken language rules or SLRs. A special feature of this book is that the author has classified and presented all the Tamil nouns and verbs and he has clearly shown how Tamil nouns are declined and how Tamil verbs are conjugated. Another special feature of this book is the Tamil English and English Tamil mini dictionary presented at the end of this book. The students benefit immensely from this facility. They can know the meaning and the correct pronunciation of any Tamil word in daily use. They can find also the exact Tamil word equal in meaning to any English word in common use. This book also provides the students with all the participles of all Tamil verb groups. This author, who is a Sinhala mother tongue speaker, has never lived or worked in a Tamil spoken environment but master this language only through listening to radio and reading various books and newspapers. We must be proud of his work. The third book written and published by this author is titled as Sinhalan Demalabasa Tanina Megiraganna, which means teach yourself Tamil through Sinhala. This book is actually the Sinhala version of the book titled Teach Yourself Tamil. consists of 875 pages. As far as I know so far, this is the best book that greatly helps single students to master the Tamil language thoroughly.
short book written and published by author A.W.N. Silva. This is titled as Learn Hindi and Urdu Languages through Singhala. This is a copy of its second edition. The author has taken great pains in writing this book for the benefit of the students, enabling them to master all the essential grammar rules and the vocabulary of the Hindi and Urdu languages. After mastering the structure of the Hindi language, the student can proceed if he wishes to learn Urdu. The students who study this book successfully can sit for the local and foreign examinations. The author has annexed several past question papers for the benefit of the students. Also, there are some texts for reading by the students with transliteration and translation in Singhala. The author has selected and attached some texts from Hindi and Urdu newspapers with transliteration and translation in Singhala. A special feature of this book is that the author has included the lyrics of 30 popular Hindi film songs with translation and transliteration in Singhala. At the end of the book, the students will find the Hindi Urdu Singhala and Singhala Hindi Urdu dictionary which will definitely be a great advantage for them. Total number of pages in this book is 1200. This work of author A.W.L. Silva should be appreciated by all the uh, language students because he has never lived or worked in Urdu and Hindi speaking environment. Also, he has mastered these languages only through listening to radio and reading various books and newspapers. Next, I am introducing you the fifth book written published by author A.W.L. Silva in Tamil language, which is Tamil Moolam Singhala Moolie Thamagave Kachu Kollungal or Learn Singhala through Tamil. This book helps the Tamil speaking student learn all the essential grammar rules and the vocabulary of the Singhala language in daily use. To my knowledge, this is the best book in recent times to learn Singhala through Tamil. This book consists of 699 pages. A specially designed phonetic symbol system shows clearly the correct pronunciation and meaning of every Singhala word. This book is actually the Tamil version of the book titled Teach Yourself Singhala, written and published by the author. The author A.W.L. Silva, who is a Singhala mother tongue speaker, has displayed his talent and genius by writing in Tamil right throughout the whole book. And this is the sixth book written and published by this author, which is Singhala in English, which means learn English language through Singhala. This book helps the Singhala students learn the essential grammar rules and the vocabulary of the English language in daily use. A special feature of this book is that right throughout the book, the international phonetic system is used to show the pronunciation of English words. This book has 898 pages. Many students do not know the various abbreviations used in English documents, newspapers, etc. With this in view, the author has compiled all the essential abbreviations used in day-to-day -day documents, newspapers, etc. and included them in this book for the benefit of the students. The author also has given sample sentences using these abbreviations. The author has included the English and Singhala translations of an Urdu short story titled Pehla Din meaning the first day. The English version is on the left hand side while the Singhala version is on the right hand side of the book. The student can select any paragraph or part of the English version on the left hand side and compare its exact Singhala translation on the right hand side of the book. The translations from Urdu into English and Singhala are done by the author himself. In this book, the author has also shown the students how to prepare the covering letter and the bio data to apply for a job. In the English Singhala Mini Dictionary, at the end of the book, the author has given as much as the space could permit model sentences using the English words. 
an extensive sinhala english glossary including all the sinhala words in daily use is also included at the end of the book at the end of this program i wish to tell you two important things the first thing is that in recent times in sri lanka author aw l silva is the only person who alone wrote and published six classic books in sinhala tamil and english languages to learn sinhala english tamil hindi and urdu languages This is definitely a Sri Lankan record. The second thing is that in recent times in Sri Lanka, the author A. W. L. Silva, who is a Sinhala mother tongue speaker, has written and published a classic book in impeccable Tamil to learn thoroughly the Sinhala language. This is definitely a Sri Lankan record. Thank you. For further details, please contact two two three seven four two eight. Bye for now.